One of my favorite platformer games of all time is Shovel Knight. Delicious. There's something so charming about this little guy jumping around like Scrooge McDuck everywhere. When Treasure Trove was finally released in all its glory, I kinda totally forgot about it. I remember being really excited to play the new campaign showdown mode and also replay the previous three campaigns, but for some reason I never really got around to doing it. That was until like a week or two ago when I decided to replay the entirety of Shovel Knight. So starting off with the most recent campaign, King of Cards, starring the biggest asshole out of all four of the playable characters, King Knight. This shoulder bashing yeah. warrior knockoff is on a quest to become the best Joustus slayer across the kingdoms. But oh, I hear you say, I don't know what Joustus is and I played the other three Shovel Knight campaigns. Well, Joustus is a card game that's exclusive to the King Knight campaign. Across your journey, you'll come across Spectre Knight who will give you his deck after you defeat him and later on you can find more cards to add to your deck. It's a shame that you can only battle against NPCs and not real players. If Yacht Club Games released a multiplayer Joustus game, I think it could be great. Mm, interesting. There's lots of cards that have their own special gimmicks, and even the boards you play on have their gimmicks too. After you beat each boss, they appear in the main hub area, which is a flying ship this time around, and you can challenge them to play Joustus with you. The ship you travel in is very reminiscent of the Spectre of Torment hub area, and it's nice seeing how it's getting filled with enemies and bosses you previously defeated. I also like how you can commission a painting of yourself from this medieval Twitter artist. As for the main part of the game, I really have nothing to say about it. It's good and that's basically all you need to know. It's nothing too different from the standard Shovel Knight gameplay and I love me some Shovel Knight. The only real difference is King Knight's main form of attack, which is a shoulder bash, after which he starts spinning and during this spin you can jump on enemies just like Shovel Knight does. The controls are fluid once again, and all of King Knight's sub-weapons, which are called heirlooms this time around, feel unique to him. It's interesting how restricting and yet fun your moveset is. The stages have been changed to fit King Knight's gameplay. You have your usual regular levels, ice level, water level, but there's also entirely new areas near the end of the game. Speaking of new areas, the entire map is new, and there's special areas in which you face up against Joustus players. In the first House of Joustus, you can see the bard from the original Shovel Knight campaign, following you and watching you from the back. Background. After you beat Black Knight using your superior intellect, the bard and the chicken pilot, whose name I forgot, will ask you to be their new champion and so you join them and go kick the shit out of the three Justice judges. The night bosses are all pretty much the same, there's also new bosses which are a nice breath of fresh air. Of course you need to have your obligatory enchantress boss fight and it's a really cute detail how all the companions you made along the way will watch you face off against them. It's just a shame that you know how King Knight will end up at the end through the Shovel Knight campaign all alone in his newfound kingdom. So you go and beat the shit out of him. Eventually I'll get around to doing the other three campaigns and also probably Shovel Knight Pocket Dungeon once I get around to playing that game. But for now you just gotta do me a solid and like and subscribe. And maybe I'll consider uploading another video in less than a month like this one. That's all, see ya.